I thought about wearing my uniform to this affair. Mm -hmm. But then the words of that great general, Douglas MacArthur, kicked in, old soldiers yeah, never die. Never die. Yeah. 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 They just fade away yeah. until they try to put on their uniform. <laughs> 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 All right. That honor guard from my high school, I see Norcom. They were outstanding. Yes, All right. You know, I get the, a lot of people have asked me, Al, what entice you to go into the military? And I have to tell them, I really don't know. But I go back to my time at I.C. Norco. I had a football coach, Walter Doc Hurley, who was a Marine. And I re distinctly remember during my last year, Doc Hurley said, Short, make sure you give ROTC at Virginia State a good shot. He said, that can be a good deal. Uh, Doc Hurley, of course, is one of my heroes in life, so I kind of attribute the, the fact that he told me that. I wish he had been an Army guy, though, but, uh, <laughs> but that's okay. But. Uh, as it, uh, as it were, I spent 33 and a half years mm. in the military, and I was in communications uh, throughout my entire time. But I want to talk a, a, a little bit. I heard Joe Dog got uh, <laughs> the, what, the Purple Heart. Uh, Joe Dog and I spent some time in foxholes right over here working at the Murrow Chemical Plant. 